We all have our image of the ideal relationship. For most of us, it is about constantly supporting each other and always being tender, adoring, and happy together. After all, this is the promise inherent in living happily ever after. It turns out though, as anyone who's been in a relationship for longer than a few months knows, that some conflict is inevitable. Not only is conflict inevitable, psychologist John Gottman shows that it is good for us. Gottman has studied thousands of relationships, ones that flounder and ones that flourish. Among his accomplishments is that already in the early part of a relationship, he's able to predict with 94% accuracy whether or not the partners will divorce. More importantly though, Gottman is able to provide valuable advice for couples. One piece of advice revolves around conflict. Gottman has shown that in the best relationships, there is a ratio of approximately five to one between positive and negative experiences. In other words, for every squabble or disappointment or angry outburst, there are five positive experiences, such as an exchange of pleasant words, a warm embrace or laughter. It's difficult to measure the exact ratio between positive and negative experiences. Uh, the intensity and duration of the emotion imply that different activities contribute differently to the ratio. However, there are generally two main prescriptions from Gottman's ratio research. First, that conflict is important. Second, that healthy relationships enjoy much more positive experiences than negative ones. While the beginning of a relationship during the honeymoon phase may be conflict-free, if this continues for a long time, it usually means that one or both partners are sweeping problems under the rug. This is unhealthy for the long-term success of the relationship and ultimately breeds discontent and unhappiness. Conflict, as long as it's devoid of contempt or hostility, helps the partners learn about each other and about themselves and takes the relationship to a higher level. At the same time, to counter these conflicts, both partners in a healthy relationship enjoy much of the time they spend together, whether because of the conversations they have, the things they do together, or the way they make each other feel. In 1945, the song Accentuate the Positive by Johnny Mercer was number one on the Billboard chart. Mercer's advice to accentuate the positive is important. Make a list of things that you can do with and for your partner or friend that will increase the positivity to negativity ratio in your relationship. This could be sending a brief text message or going out for a meal together or just spending some time talking and supporting. Keep adding to the list and keep the list with you so that you can consistently boost the ratio. The second part of Johnny Mercer's advice is to eliminate the negative. Here, Mercer is not entirely correct. What we want to do is reduce the negative, but not eliminate it. If there is a recurring conflict, think of ways to deal with it. Commit to being in the conflict without hostility and contempt. Recognize the differences are inevitable and can actually deepen your relationship. And then, Take a minute to appreciate your partner, yourself, and your relationship. Remind yourself, preferably in writing, what you fell in love with in the first place and the things that you love about your partner right now. Relationships are a gift. Not because they provide us with constant happiness and joy, they don't, but because they provide us with wonderful moments as well as moments from which we can learn and grow together.